morning and welcome to an unedited day in our life. So the purpose of doing this unedited day in our life is essentially so you guys can see what a realistic day in our life looks like without any fancy editing or music or cuts so that's the point of the video we are just recording stuff and it goes in the vlog and we don't edit any of it out so it kind of changes how the vlog goes because in order for there not to be much of silent clips we probably need to just mostly talk to you guys today um so i got up at 6 15 today i usually try to work out in the morning three times a week so usually that's monday wednesday thursday and today's Wednesday and so I already have my gym bag packed so usually how I maximize my mornings is since I have like a chocolate croissant it needs to cook for 13 minutes so I come down first and get it cooking and then I go upstairs and finish everything else and then I usually take my breakfast to go and that's what's been working it better for me and then something I've just started doing recently is um, after working out, I sometimes go in the hot tub that's at my gym just for a little bit before I shower and it's kind of nice. So, um, I don't have to be at work until, um, 8.30 is usually when I go in, but I technically have, like, some flexibility, so that's kind of nice and I really enjoy that. So, I'm gonna go upstairs, change, brush my teeth, and get things packed up. Up my last few things. So this is the drink that I've been liking. We just mentioned it in our last video, but this is the V8 Diet uh, Strawberry Lemonade. So this is usually what I save to drink after I work out. A few more minutes left on that, and then I usually cut it in half so I can eat half now, and then I save the other half for the next morning usually, just because it's like a pretty big croissant, and then I don't have to buy quite so many. Um, but yeah, I think that once that's done, I'm ready to head out. So usually I would also pack a lunch, um, but I have a Jimmy John's gift card that I used a couple weeks ago that I think I'm gonna use again today um, because that sounds really good. So and it'll help like have a nice like usually I go and get it even though some of my coworkers when they get food they'll order it to our work. I sometimes like just leaving the building for a little bit to get my food, so I might do that. All right, six thirty four. Heading out the door to go to the gym. All right, I'm getting ready to head into the gym today. Well, I usually alternate between upper body and lower body, and today's a leg day, which sometimes I'm like, ugh, that's harder, but it's okay. Um, so I'm gonna try and get a squat rack, but you know, it's usually pretty busy in the morning, so we'll just have to see if that happens. Um, I usually work out for 45 minutes, and I don't pre-plan my workouts or anything. I have usually like, if there were to be like a word bank of exercises that I typically do, I would look at that and I just like pick and choose what ones based off of like what's available, what I feel like doing and things like that because I used to do like a lot of the same things. So I'm going to go work out and then usually um, last time I was here I actually like read my book on my phone in between sets and I read like 40 pages in the morning between sets and in the hot tub. So whether I do that again, I'm not sure, otherwise I will listen to music usually. Um, so. Yeah, I'm reading Say You Swear right now on Kindle Unlimited. Good morning. I'm sure Megan already chatted with you, but we're doing an unedited day in our life vlog today, which will be kind of stressful because I end up cutting a lot of like my word stumbling out of vlogs. So this is going to be very real and raw. Um, I am actually packing to head to the gym right now. I should maybe clarify why I'm not working today. So since I work PRN at one facility right now, their census is low, which just means they don't have a lot of patients and therefore don't need any extra set of hands. And so I'm not working today. I don't know if I'll be working there for the rest of this week. And then I start my full-time job at a different facility on Monday, which I think I told you guys about. I don't remember if I did or not, but it's a skilled nursing facility. And so... Yeah, I'll be starting there. So, packing my gym bag, I figured I'd kind of run through what I pack. Got some dry shampoo. This one is from Batiste, it's just the original. I have my little bag of other stuff to get ready. I just bought some towel scrunchies from Target because I have a face wash. 
And if you know you know, then washing your hands and like the water trickling down your arms can be very annoying. So those towel scrunchies are supposed to prevent that from happening. Deodorant, some other stuff. Hairbrush. I'm not washing my hair there, so I don't need like a, my one styler. Lotion, I just use Eucerin. And then packing a swimsuit in case I want to use the hot tub when I'm done. And then change of clothes, socks, underwear, bra, leggings, and this sweatshirt Henley thing that just says the University of Iowa. So that's everything I'm packing. I just need to change into my workout clothes and then head out. So I just pulled into the gym parking lot. I'll probably try and get a few clips working out and stuff in the gym, but I wanted to talk to you guys um, about the podcast that I've been listening to lately. So I have been mostly listening to like true crime podcasts. And so my top three right now are Dateline, Buried Bones, and My Favorite Murder. And I think I have a new episode of Dateline that I can listen to or a new episode of Buried Bones. And I'm thinking I'm going to listen to Buried Bones. So that one's like a historical true crime podcast. So if you're interested, I would recommend it. My workout was very anticlimactic. I honestly think that my reading probably ended up taking a little bit too much priority over an actual workout. Um, I did, I always walk five minutes first, so I did that. And then I went and was trying to look for a squat rack, but I couldn't find one. Usually like, there's a bunch of squat racks in the middle of our gym, but usually there's a class going on in the morning, but maybe there wasn't one today and I just was assuming there was, cause like it kind of looked like there was a class, but like there were definitely squat racks open that I maybe could have grabbed. But instead I just grabbed a kettlebell and did single leg RDLs followed by some goblet squats. And then after that, I couldn't really find anything open. A lot of benches were taken. I wasn't sure if the squat racks were available. So then I went to the Stairmaster, which I almost never do. Um, but I did that for 10 minutes, which like, I don't know if I, I didn't, I wasn't going very fast. Cause I was like, if I'm doing this for a while, then like I can't go super fast. But like I did 10 minutes on there. I was sweating a lot. And then I kind of just stretched out a little bit. And then I went in the hot tub and finished, or I kept reading. I'm not done with my book yet, but yeah. Um, anyways, it is 8.15 ish and I'm gonna head to work now. And I think I have six patients today, so usually that means I might be done a little after three, I think. I oh, just finished up my workout. It's pretty good. I will say, when I was on the treadmill, I thought it was going to be an upper body day, and then I was like, wait, no, it's leg day, which made me more sad because upper body days are just a little bit easier. I have to pause this before. My phone connects, okay. Um, and then after my workout, I went to the hot tub, just kind of relaxed and finished listening to the podcast that I was listening to. And it was a good workout and then I showered. Now here I am. So I think next I want to deposit some cash. I have like a ton of cash just like sitting in this wallet in my room, but I don't really even bring this wallet around with me since I use this crossbody so often. And I have some cash in here, but like I never use that hardly either. So I figured I should go and deposit some cash so that I have more money available to my accounts because I usually just use my card. So we're gonna go to a Wells Fargo uh, kiosk thing, I don't really know what it's called, um, and see how I do with that. Because I don't think I've done that in a very long time. Okay, I made it. We'll see how this goes. I haven't used one of these in forever. Okay, we did it. I'm just waiting on it to pop my card back out. I didn't get pulled up quite close enough, so I was like leaning half in and out of my car. And for a while, like the door was like closing in on my leg, like cutting it off. So that was kind of painful, but we did it. Before I fully head inside, I am going to water the patch of dirt in our backyard because last year we ripped out a an old garden box. And so it was dirt there, there's no grass. We're trying to grow some more grass. And so we have, um, like this grass seed laid out in half of it and then like this rolled out grass seed on the other half. I'll show you when I'm over there. But I'm trying to water every day, so that's what I'm gonna do. This is what it looks like right now. I have yet to see 
much growth happening. But why is this not turned on? What is going on? Here's my midday check-in. It is lunchtime now. So I'm gonna go through the Jimmy John's drive-thru and grab that. I've had honestly like a really good productive morning. I think that my productivity today should be pretty good. Um, I'll figure out at the end of the day, but I've been just like good with keeping up my, with my documentation with the patients and I haven't had too many like roadblocks or things like that. So, or sometimes I feel like I'm chasing people around because like no one's available to see me, but today's been pretty smooth. So I have one patient I still have to see after lunch. Um, I have to finish up some paperwork and eat all stuff, which I think I might do over lunch a little bit too. And then I also have some time with one patient, um, but I'd like to get more and hopefully work with them just a little bit more. But I think hopefully I'm done by three. Hi, could I get a number four and a drink? Want a drink? Anything? Yeah. Um, no, that's it. I'll do a Coke. Thanks. Yeah, have a good day. Thank you. Let's see, this is gonna taste so good. <sighs> That's what I need to help get me through the day. Anyways, back to work I go. Hopefully we talk soon. Okay, I did end up getting the area watered, but I had to set the camera down to fix a kink in the hose. But that's done. I am going to make some breakfast. I'm probably just gonna have like half of a breakfast sandwich because it's like 10, 16 right now and I don't want to have like a super late lunch, so. But I don't like eating before I work out, so eating now. The egg is done, bacon is finishing up and I wanted to talk to you guys, I don't know if this is, okay, it's barely in the front. So we had a couple people sending us this uh, Starbucks pre-packaged pink drink that they're selling in stores, like we got ours at Hy-Vee and people are sending this to us because I know that Megan and I love our strawberry refresher. I'm gonna make my own at home version right now. And so we try this out. Granted, Megan and I never have tried the pink drink, so I can't comment on how similar this tastes to the pink drink or not, but the pink drink I think is just supposed to be the strawberry refresher. There's my uh, breakfast sandwich bagel, plus coconut milk. And Megan and I did not like it. Like this has been sitting in our fridge. I'm probably gonna end up dumping it out because it just kind of tastes medicinal. I just didn't like it. So I'm going to make my own at home version. We use this or otherwise uh, strawberry and white cranberry juice also tastes good. And then you need some white grape juice as well. So I'm going to put my breakfast sandwich together, put my drink together, and then enjoy my breakfast. Breakfast is all ready. It looks delicious and it also happens to be Wednesday which means we get a new episode of Jet Lag. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch that while I eat. So currently watching some Monk and Megan and I have a podcast coming up that's gonna be related to social media and so I'm gonna do some prep for that. So I just have some different social media sites listed and I will start coming up with some stuff to talk about for each of them. Megan and I made tacos last night and so Gonna reheat, I guess I just did reheat that. Reheated the meat, got everything else laid out over here. Got my tomatoes, if I can open this with one hand, maybe not. Um, lettuce, and then taco shells. My favorite thing on Monk is when a new episode starts, see if I can guess the title. This one actually is easy because it's the garbage strike one. So if I pause it, it should be Mr. Monk and the garbage strike. And it is. <laughs> So, Meg and I have been re-watching from the beginning, so it's actually going surprisingly fast. We're on season 5, episode 2, and I swear I just restarted it like two weeks ago or something. Highly recommend the show. So after doing a little bit of stuff on the computer, I pulled my book out. I'm going to read for, I think, at least an hour or something. And my goal for the end of the day is to get to page 200 in my book, so I don't think I'll be able to do that in an hour. But hopefully just by the end of the day, or like if I'm reading tonight or something, I can get to page 200. And yeah, I don't have any other updates besides that. It is 2.49 and look who is done and ready to go home. So, I had a pretty good day at work actually. Um, finished all my patients. I basically saw 
almost all of them for most of their full time, which you can never really predict, but everything went pretty well. I'm glad that it's a beautiful day. So Sierra and I might do some yard work um, because we've got a bunch of weeds and stuff that we just need to get cleaned up a little bit. Sierra mowed our yard actually yesterday for the first time and it looked much better because we were probably one of the last ones to get around to it because it had been a little bit colder. Um, but I'm gonna go home and I thought I was gonna say something else, but I don't remember what I was gonna say. So if I do remember, I will talk to you guys again. As soon as I stopped recording, I remembered. Um, so if you don't know, I am employed and get paid hourly. So that's why my hours kind of vary and just depends on how many pe how many people are on my caseload and um, things like that. So usually um, like a good day for me is like seven, seven and a half hours. Um, and that happens fairly consistently. And then there's some days though where it's a little bit shorter. And I, I honestly like it, obviously, if I'm working less, I don't get paid as much, but I'm someone where I'm at a point in my life where I kind of like the flexibility in that and I like being able to sometimes get off a little bit earlier and not work a full day. So I'm not complaining right now. Um, and then, yeah, that was kind of all I was gonna say is I just enjoy that aspect. Although sometimes, sure, the paychecks aren't as much as if I were to work a full, a full 40 hours. Now that I'm home, I think that we'll get changed and uh, changing. Is uh, it hot outside? I mean, it's like reasonably warm. You don't have to change. Okay, this should only take maybe like 45 minutes. What even is our plan? So I'm starting by pulling weeds, which right now is mostly dandelions. I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything else besides pull them. But that's what we're starting with. Mid long cleanup. It's almost four o'clock. It's three fifty. So I don't know if we're gonna be done quite after, quite before four. But Sierra is doing raking the leaves and picking up weeds. I'm gonna go help her bag all that stuff up. And I got done weed whacking most of um, the yard and around the fence. I'm getting hungry. And I'm getting hotter than I thought I was going to be, so I think we're probably gonna wrap it up soon. I was craving something sweet, so and I feel like I haven't had this in a long time, but I made apples. Well, I didn't make this, but you know, I cut up some apples and I have some peanut butter and chocolate chips. And I'm going to see if I can find something on YouTube to watch to entertain me while I eat. So we don't really have a whole lot of options for dinner. We do have one meal, but Sierra does, does not want to make it, which fair enough, I honestly don't really want to either. I want, honestly, I'd be fine going out to dinner, but I also kind of don't feel like leaving the house. Sierra's taking a nap. I just took a video of her. Um, so. I haven't gone to dinner in a while. In a while? Yeah. When? 7.30, do you know where? No. Okay, well maybe we will. We'll think up, we'll find something and then I'll tell you guys what we decide. Okay, so I didn't make Megan wait for me to sleep for another hour. Um, she found a place called The Burger Shop that we're gonna try out. We haven't been there before, so Seems hopefully it's simple, good. simple, easy enough, nice casual vibes, so. And I get a drive. Yum. Sierra with her onion rings. Okay, Sierra, so I'm recording. <laughs> so whatever you're ranting about, stop. Um, <laughs> so if you want to know what Sierra and I talk about, except for right now, we spent our time talking about our upcoming podcast episode. So it was basically a condensed version of um, our social media hot takes, rules, and exceptions. So Sierra and I came home after dinner, and as we do, we walk in Regularly. and we see our lovely bookshelf behind us. And we and can we never get enough stop. of it. We always talk about it. We just like are looking at it, talking about it, like, I have to read this book, like on here still. Like we know, we both know what books each other has read, but like, it's just, we love it. We have to talk about it. And a couple days ago, we were talking about after we went to Barnes and Noble, I got a couple of books and we were just like, the bookshelf isn't 
organized <laughs> like we, there's some changes we like need to make there's some books that like Don't we're kind that. of planning on getting rid of and like or giving them to someone else because like they just like see read them and we're like this isn't it i'm not reading it this someone else will probably like enjoy it more so i think what we're gonna do is reorganize the bookshelf because we kind of like and we love like, a little bit later we love reorganizing the bookshelf so i was like i mean we could do it right now and i was like you know why not i don't really know like what we when we intended to do it so like why not mm -hmm. now so we'll give you guys kind of a tour of what it looks like now why we're having some issues yeah. with it and then we'll kind of get to work and see what we want to do being a little bit over the top and having sierra bring the ring light out because like this light does great but like i don't think it's as much as i would like and when i tell you we don't even turn this light on because look at the like, how little of a difference it makes go ahead oh that's the fan it probably makes it look like it makes a bigger difference on camera than it actually does in real life but we're gonna try this out yeah now we need to adjust it i'll be back in a second okay right now our top shelf is kind of like a bunch of random books that are just hodgepodge up there like there's well, i think we could find a home i think we've decided to prematurely that like they don't fit with anything else but I think yeah they could so and also like this one's probably like the ugliest just because it's usually seen the least this is our ya slash science fiction-y type of books usually there's also like you know the mark greeny one's kind of like a more political not necessarily like science fiction this is kind of a mess and these are the two ones i bought that we were like where do these go then we have the romance shelf this one's fine like it makes sense at least well it's okay we have like this is also romance down here but this is romance where we have multiple from the same author and i like that we have that me and sierra are not very like we are not going to color code this this is all it needs to make sense so we do it by genre and author usually Unless it's like book of the month stuff these we are all to go together just because they have all the book yeah. of the month stuff romance like i said sierra and i have no idea how these four ended up together like they're not the same they're not related i don't know why they're there these are Stephen King slash These Silent Woods. I haven't read These Silent Woods, so I don't know why I ended up there. It just felt like the vibe fit there, and I don't know where else to put it. And then this bottom shelf here is some, it's kind of just like mystery thriller, generally speaking. Mm -hmm. So let's take everything off and redo this. As much as we'd love to set up a time lapse, this is an unedited day in our life, so I think that we're just going to take everything off and come back. Okay, I'm pretty sure these are the ones that are not making it back on the shelf. This one I read, I actively disliked it. Which is um, surprising. I, I don't like it. A lot of people love that book. This I one, I'm torn on. This is actually like, it's got sentimental value, so I'm like not entirely sure. Maybe we just but, take it back to grandma. Um, it's like a You Be the Jury book. It's basically just like a bunch of little mini court cases. And I loved it when you were younger, but it's kind of like disheveled and old and like not something we actively read now. So maybe we'll give it back to our grandma. This is from a little free library. Sierra read it for a video we did, and I have no desire to read it, and it's ugly. So, was it a good book, or was it okay? It was actually okay. Like, I gave it three stars, but it was better than I thought, just because I was, like, not sure at all how I would like it. And this I've tried reading two different times, and I cannot do it, you guys. So, this has to go. And then this one Sierra just read. This was also from a little free library, and Sierra didn't mind it, but it was also not for half. her. And I don't want to read it. Yeah. And we think that um, it's possible that our brother-in-law might enjoy and appreciate it more. So if he wants to take it and read it, he can keep it. It's our decision on that. Here's all of our decor. We have books over on our couch spread out. That's like the romance stuff. And we have me. books spread out on the counter. So now we need to figure out where we want to start. I think we need to like kind of envision with how many shelves we have, like what categories can things fall into. Okay. We'll relive, or we'll come back when we figure that out. Okay. So we kind of start stacking stuff, and then we'll I'll give see an overview. How these will make sense on shelves. This is our YA slash potential series. This is YA, right? Yeah, because it was in the YA section. So two of these books, we don't know if we're going to continue the series. One of them is Lion and Red Queen, but, but we there's potential. Could, and they're YA, so YA stuff here. Um, kept this small little section of Stephen King and these Silent Woods just because I feel like they fit together. I want Stephen King's to be together. And that can go on a shelf that we don't have a lot of other books. This is our fiction stuff that didn't really match anything else. We actually used to have, um, well, in five years it's kind of a romance, but for job purposes, we brought it over here. And both of our um, Taylor Jenkins reads books we had in the romance section because we kind of felt like they belonged there even though really like they're not completely romances so they can go here <clears throat> lost ticket some romance but like not a complete romance and then 
uh, Jodi Pigo, which apparently is how you say her name, 19 minutes is going in the fiction as well. Then we have, oh, I guess, yeah, over here. Um, we have two historical fiction books, All the Light We Cannot See, and The Help. They're making this into a limited series on Netflix, which I might watch. The book I gave, like, three stars, but it might be better for me as a show. And then we have, like, some nonfiction stuff as well. And then... This is huge. And they're um, all maybe going to go on the same shelf, but they're subcategories. So, I mean, these are kind of, like... Are those both? No. These are, like, domestic... Thrillers. thrillers. Who done it? Kind of like who done it. Thrillers, partially domestic. They kind of blend together. These ones are, we don't really know. Weird, just thriller mystery type stuff. I don't know. And these were our academia mystery thrillers. Because Ace of Spades, we didn't really know where it was gonna go because it's YA, but also it doesn't really fit in the other YA stuff. It's not a series, so we brought it over here. So, and then we have our science fiction stuff. Now over here. I don't think we're going to change a whole lot. I think it's just going to be a matter of like placing stuff on the shelves and mm -hmm. seeing how we like it because we want those together. We want authors to stay together. And we do have, we put some of like our YA ones together. And so I think we might also like keep those ones together. But otherwise, the otherwise, romance stuff didn't change too yeah. much. We'll just see what we put on the shelf. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was liking how this was coming together because before I put all of the extra decor and stuff in, I was like, there's gaps here, gaps here. And you fill it in and it's like, oh, okay, it looks pretty good, I hope. So the top is our general fiction and then historical fiction and nonfiction. We ended up putting them all together just because when they were split on two opposite sides, we did not like how it looked, so they got smushed. Second shelf then, we have our mysteries and thrillers and then academ academia specific tropes here. So this first part is weird ones that we didn't really have like a special category for. Here's our domestic thrillers, and then these ones are kind of whodunit specific. We'll see if these stay in this order. Um, yeah. Book of the Month stuff is all right here. That didn't really change. Um, and then we have our, we only have one author for these books for the roommate section. These are young adult, and then the rest are not. Then the shelf below is our authors that we have multiple books for. This is our Colleen Hoover section. We actually decided to rank them least favorite to most favorite out of the ones that we at least own physical copies of. Let us know if there's any uh, hot takes in there because I know this is a fan favorite and it's on our bottom half, but um, then we have these turned on its side just for more of like a, an aesthetic design design choice. Uh, if you're wondering where Emily Henry is, Sierra has those in her room and on her bookshelf. So that's where those are. We also have the Truly Devious series and it's in Sierra's room as well. Oh, I thought I'd go down there. These are just, in the, mirror. the authors are together, and that's that. Down here, probably the most bare shelf, so it has like the most extra stuff going on. Stephen King books with the Silent Woods because, I don't know, Sierra read it, and she's like, that's where it goes. You can have your take when you read it. So we have science fiction, um, and then down below, I like how we did this shelf. I like that we, well, Sierra's the one that came up with it, but we have our Good Girls Guide to Murder series here, Inheritance Games here. And then since these ones have the potential to be series, but they're still one off, we set them up like this. And they're this. still YA. And so we'll see if so. they stay there. But that's how it is for now. So that is what the shelf looks like. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, I am finishing up my night by getting things prepped for tomorrow morning since I'm planning on working out again. So I have the clothes that I'm wearing to work out stuff back in there. I got my dry shampoo that I sometimes sleep with my hair or sleep with in my hair. And I don't rub it in because I feel like it just soaks up in my hair better. And I need to pack um, my scrubs and stuff that I'm wearing in my gym bag. So they're in the laundry room. Megan and I went to Michael's last weekend and we got our first diamond art thing. So I'm doing that while watching some Monk. Takes a very long time. I think this is probably like a culmination. This corner is how much we've done. Probably a culmination of like four hours. So it's a tedious process for sure, but it's kind of a fun little mindless task to do while you're just watching something. This is probably my last update of the vlog, but I'm getting ready to go to bed, so I'm gonna read. I have time to read for like an hour uh, since it's 9.20 and I'm trying to go to bed around 10.30 and I'm waking up at 6.30, get me hopefully close to eight hours of sleep. I also have like a knot in my back right now so I used this back massage thing last night and it has some 
heat to it as well. So I'm gonna use it tonight too. And, um, wait. Well, I'm gonna get ready to head to bed since it's almost 10 o'clock. Megan already went to bed and I don't know if she recorded anything else on her phone. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this unedited day in the life. Let us know if you guys want to see more videos like this. Hopefully it'll be very easy to edit since I'm editing this tomorrow. But yeah, also have a podcast called According To, available wherever podcasts are available. And other than that, we will see you in our next video. Bye!